There's a man behind the plane. <laughs> oh, they got the, 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 the parade coming down yeah. the back way. Terrence, can you introduce yourself to the Once Gracious community? Terrence Wright, uh, former city of Plano employee over 24 years, now community activist and volunteer. Community activist and volunteer. And this is our second time together here in the in 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 the, at the Douglas for for Juneteenth. Can you give us a, can you give us more of how you feel this time around versus how you felt the time before? This time extremely tired. We, we've got probably the biggest program we've had over in this neighborhood and this community for Juneteenth in probably over 30 years. Uh, we got a parade going on as we speak. We got a band setting up to play. We got vendors on the street. The streets are blocked off. Anticipated crowd of over three to 500 people in and out, come and go crowd musical performances by local artists and just talent galore, free food for the community, and just a great overall time. So it's been a, a, a three month process putting it together, trying to get everything in order just to make this great and continue to be great. As a, a community act, uh, activist or act, 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 advocate, why do you feel like putting this type of effort behind Juneteenth matters in this community? It matters because of the history. This neighborhood has a deep rooted history of uh, being the, the, the first African-American neighborhood in Plano. They have a deep history of everything that happened from the anticipation before slavery through uh, integration and everything. And just the rich history of the residents, the, the founders that came before that. And this is what these people want to see. They want to be a part of what we used to be a part of and bringing them quality programs and events. That's what we want to accomplish, not only today, but moving forward in the future. Awesome, awesome. And as a, as a Once Integration client, you, you, you've invited us into this space. Correct. Why did you feel like it was important for Once Integration to be a part of this in support of you? Once Integration stands and supports community. This is what this is. This is a community of five strong streets, but it's deep rooted in, in family. And once you get anything that's into, into history and family, that's what One Degration stands for, so I want you to be a part of it and share that and, and, and give it a big platform to stand on so people can know what goes on, not only the Douglas, but what also happens with One Degration. Beautiful. Let me go back up. So, what positive economic outcomes and opportunities do you see related to the history or celebration of Juneteenth in the Douglas? I think a big part of the economic growth would be supporting black business. We have a lot of quality black business owners that we can pull off and, and, and pull these events done by ourselves and not go asking for the major corporate dollars or sponsorships and we can focus on our own. But also we can not just say we, we need a handout, we need sponsors and donors to create a positive program, but we can make this happen on our own as well and, and add that in and then we have a great festival and, and continuous event. You know, the economic development that's coming through this neighborhood by black business owners it has grown leaps and bounds since the pandemic. Everyone became an entrepreneur. Everyone started tapping into that entrepreneurial spirit. And you'll see that on, online today with the uh, nonprofit vendors and the uh, for-profit vendors. Beautiful. And so in closing, share with us <clears throat> the, the, the future visions and dreams that you're starting to, to see for Terrence Wright going forward. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's still coming around, still trying to find my niche. I don't know what I'll be when, when, I'll be when I grow up, but I know it's going to be positive. I know it's going to be impacting the community and impacting the lives of future generations. Whether it's, you know, continue to be an advocate for nonprofits, continue to be a voice for the voiceless, or supporting the people that can't support themselves. It's going to be that person that's going to continue to help. <laughs>